So I've just arrived at Flora Car Park, just drove up here this afternoon. It's been a pretty hot day, it was about 29.30 down in Mochueca. Obviously a little bit cooler up here, started about 950 metres. So behind me is uh, Mount Arthur. Tonight I'll stay short of the summit and I'll probably go up to the top tomorrow morning. And then I'll probably stay a second night out there somewhere, but we'll see how it goes. Stopped by the supermarket on the way here and I picked up a cream donut, donut. so that's the first little snack before even setting off. Got tons of other junk food and cheese and stuff. So I should be pretty much sorted for the trip. So I'm about 10 minutes in and I just realized that I managed to leave something in the car. So gotta do a quick dash back. So a little way behind me is Lodestone. I went up there the other day with my friend Matt. And uh, it's basically, I think three point, say four k's from the car park to the hut. I'm probably about one third of the way along here. now so I'll go in and check it out but I won't stay there tonight I'll go a little bit further up Mount Arthur and uh, weather forecast is pretty good so I'll hopefully set up and sleep under the stars so I just got to go off the, off the track to do that and obviously do it in a way where I don't leave any mess but uh, should make for a good sunrise tomorrow morning. I'm about 350 meters below, like vertically below the summit of Mount Arthur now. So I'm at about 1400 or a little bit above that. I've uh, set my stuff down here about well, a few minutes walk off the trail. So I was scoping out this slightly uh, slightly sloping spot as a, as a spot to sleep for tonight, but it's still a little bit windy. So it's certainly really windy up on the ridge up there and it's just a cloud blowing in. So it's quite damp. Um, you kind of get by here, but I found a spot that's a few minutes further away from the track, which is also good. It's good to be a bit further away uh, to comply with the rules. And um, so I'm going to move my stuff over there. It's a little bit of a dicey little spot. I'll show it in a minute, but um, I think it's going to do for tonight. Behold the spot that I found for myself for tonight. So it's just down here, lying down this way. So I tried it out. If I just lie like that, then uh, it kind of works out. I'm comfortable enough, so I've got a thermorest and a few other bits and pieces. Kind of hoping to sleep under the stars tonight, and it's not not nice no, chance of that by the looks of it now. Hopefully, I just don't get too wet. If it does get wet, then I'll have to um, pack things up and uh, just make sure that I personally stay dry. So I've got enough gear to stay dry, but um, I might not sleep so well if it starts really raining properly. I'll be safe but uh, not necessarily having a lot of fun. Worst case, I can always go down the hill to the hut. Uh, it's not super far away from here, and I've got a light to, um, that would that, help me out on the walk down there. Set up here now, kinda, at least halfway. So I've got a bit of a um, tent base underneath me. I can always clamber under that if, the, um, if there's a little bit of drizzle or the cloud gets a bit thick. And uh, just working on a sandwich here now. So I've got to throw a bit of beef on that. We've got actually tons of food, so I might be um, scarfing a few things for the next 20-30 minutes. So there's a little bit of a break in the cloud here. I don't know if it's gonna get clearer and clearer or if it's just gonna fog right up again. But uh, there's a nice view down the valley there. So I slept about half of last night and um, just got battered about around by the wind for the rest of the night, but it was pretty fun. So uh, obviously it's getting light now and maybe I'll get, get up and go hiking starting from, I don't know, maybe the next 20 minutes or something like that. So I'm pretty close to, close to the ridge and the wind is blowing over the top. It's a lot windier on the other side of the ridge and here it sort of um, swirls around really wildly. So it's kind of crazy but good fun. And um, yeah, I can see the valley every so often the valley below me opens up a little bit. Uh, mostly it's covered in cloud, but yeah, it's just blowing past really quickly. So the sun has now risen. First of light on the side of the mountain, and believe it or not, my battery is dying. So bummer, might have messed this one up. But, uh, I'll see how I go. Hopefully, get a few more shots later on in the day. It's just crazy windy. So I've my set up. I put my foot down this. Oh, I put my stuff down in a little sinkhole. Enjoy the view. I'll grab some breakfast and the battery's gonna die on me. If you thought this time was 
Bleibt an und